Welcome back. You're watching CHJ Today. I'm your host, Jennifer Gallman. We're out here at the Strawn Activity Center with Melinda Edwards, part of property management with Strawn Apartments. Melinda, welcome to the show. Well, thank you, Jennifer. You've been here how long? Uh, about two and a half years now. Tell me a little bit about what that entails. Well, I'm assisting the property manager, so basically I need to learn her roles and know what she does when she's not here. So I'm up front with the residents and I get more one-on-one -on -one contact with them and dealing with residents and dealing with recertifications and taking applications and um, just general customer service too. How many units are you responsible for at Strong? We have 318 units at this time. It's a senior disabled and the young disabled in the cottages. What would you say is the best part of your job at Strawn? Well, the most positive thing for me working at Strawn is getting the chance to work with seniors because I do have great grandparents and grandparents and I figure if I get to love on some seniors then I'm sowing a seed for someone to love on my grandparents as well. The resident. You interact with them on a daily basis? Every day. Tell me some of the concerns that they might have that you would deal with. Well, basically our uh, day-to-day -day is work orders. You know, um, something going wrong in their apartment, um, the plumbing issues, AC issues, different things like that. Stawn is a 40-year-old uh, property and we will be going under new construction soon, so we're excited about that. What would you say the best part of Strawn is? The best part to me is I've been in property management myself, so dealing with um, the senior sites to me I enjoy. It's a difference between family sites and senior sites and I really do enjoy working with the seniors. Melinda, thank you so much for coming on the show today. Up next, we're going to talk to some residents from Strawn. In addition to going to school to get an accounting degree, Violet Tilford is a hard-working mother of two teenagers. I did live in Yonkers for about eight months. It's not very safe. The Charlotte Housing Authority provides safe and affordable housing for families in need, and its Moving Forward program helps them become self-reliant. With the opportunity that I've been given with Charlotte Housing Authority, I'm able to go to school full-time. The kids would have more activities that they could do. With housing, there's a way. My name is Violet Tilford, and I'm Moving Forward. Welcome back. You're watching CHA Today. I'm your host, Jennifer Gallman. We're out here at Strawn Apartments with Strawn resident, Glenn Barry McFall. Glenn, welcome to the show. Oh, thank you. Now, how long have you lived at Strawn Apartments? I've been here ever since 2002. Are you originally from Charlotte? No, I'm originally out of New Jersey. And when did you move to Charlotte? Oh, uh, about 20 years ago. And what made you want to come here? My mother was here then, but she's deceased now. What did you come here to do? Well, I was basically check to make sure my mother was okay, because she was sickly. So I came and then, I swear, I, this is where I got sick at. Did you, um, were you part of any organizations when you came down here? No. Attend any, uh, any type of work that you might have encountered? Uh, I tried to, when I came down here, I did a little work for UPS, uh, what, it was working for UPS, but it was for companies, UPS, they had them little rails, I had to clean up underneath the bottom of the rails. I don't know if that would make me sick or, sick or what, but I've done a lot of odd jobs. What is the one thing that people might be surprised to know about you? Well, uh, I used to do mechanic work, so they might be surprised to see that in me because of my illness now. When you said that, your eyes lit up. Did you enjoy doing that? Oh, I, would, I, was, I loved it, but I can't do it no more. Since you've moved into Strawn, what's your favorite thing about living here and in Dilworth? Oh, I like living in Strawn. I don't, I don't have a problem with Strawn. Strawn is it's a good place for me to live. It's, it's a nice community. And, uh, you know, but pe a lot of times they say places where you make it, it's, it's, I mean, according to how you live, uh, people might say it might be a high crime rate over there, but it's basically how you live your life. If you live your life in that, in that atmosphere, then it's going to be that type of atmosphere. 
What's one thing you would say about property management at Strong? Well, they, they, they take good care of me. I don't have a problem with them. It's real good. Great. And if you had someone that um, would qualify to live here, would you encourage them to come be your neighbor? Yeah. Yeah. I, I know a lot of people right now wants to live here, but everybody don't meet the qualifications. So if you don't meet the qualifications, you can't get in. It's just that simple. They might. It all depends on how you conduct yourself and deal with your background and everything. They do, they do a good job on, uh, as far as letting people move in. They do a good job because they have to They do their background check. They, they're very thorough, so I, I like that. Well, Glenn, I want to thank you for taking time out of your day to share your story with us and tell us a little bit more about yourself. And uh, we hope to stay in touch and hear more about your great times at Strong. Well, thank you. Well, I've never had a bad problem, you know, with Strong. Strong is, is a comfortable place to live. Thank you. I mean, you know, you, every, at places where you live, some people, you, oh, you're going to encounter all different kinds of things, but it just depends on how you deal with it. But, I mean, compared to other places I've lived, this is a great place. Well, I'm glad to hear that. With me now is Miss Atwood Sifford, known to all as Miss Peggy. Miss Peggy, welcome to the show. Well, thank you. I'm glad to be here. Now, how long have you lived at Strong? 20 years. Are you originally from Charlotte? I'm originally from Charlotte, North Carolina. I was born and raised here. And I was married and had six children. And they all went to school. What school did you go? I went to Plato Price. That's where I finished at Plato Price. Now that's over in West Charlotte, right? No, 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 no. It's out next to Morrisville Drive. Well, you were born here. You grew up here. What was one of your jobs? Well, my first job was uh, working in a school in the cafeteria, dealing with food and the children, which I love. Then when I left school to make a little bit more money, I went to park and shop. Mr. Charlie Reed. I worked there eight years. When I got back to the school, I worked there 17 years. Then I got married, had six kids. I have 12 grandchildren and 20 great-grandchildren. Wow, that's great. So in 1972, I went to New York and I stayed there two years and I worked at the YWCA on Atlantic and Third Street in Brooklyn. And I was a pool attendant there. So when my husband died, I had to come back. So I moved back here for two years. I so said, I'm going back to New York. So I went back to New York, and I stayed there 18 years. I came back here, and I think at 90, no, I moved here at 90. And I've been here ever since. Since you've been staying here in Strawn, what's your favorite thing about being in Dilworth and in Strawn? Well, being here at Strong, my favorite thing is doing for each other, like helping them. When I was able, I'd take them to the grocery store and bring them back. And, uh, but now since my health kind of failed on me, I don't do that anymore. So my main part, I work here in the lunchroom serving food. So you volunteer at the Strong Activity Center? Yes, I volunteer at the Strong Activity Center. And then I do a lot of watching after some of the neighbors to see what's going on. Like if there's something going on wrong, they come to me because I am the tent floor floor captain. Okay. And I'm on the tenor patrol, but uh, I'm a member of the tenor patrol. But I don't do too much. I'm going back when they go back to school. What's on the t on that now? Then I'm gonna start working from six to nine on the tenor patrol. So we we'll let the care workers come in. So you volunteer over here at the activity center, yes. and you're part of the tenant patrol over at Strong. And so captain at Strong. Now, earlier you had told me that you go to church every Sunday yes, you Yes, ma'am. I don't miss too many Sundays. But before you go to church, there was something you said you did for your neighbor. What was oh, that? Oh, yes. I have a 90-year-old lady live next door. She has a home care giver, 
and uh, from Monday through Friday, but Saturday, Sunday, I cook her breakfast. And uh, for the last week, I've been watching out her for her supper. And she's 90 years old. Ms. Sifford, I just want to thank you so much for coming on and sharing your story with you, with us today. And thank you for all the help at being good neighbor at Strawn. You're really well, making you. a difference there. Thank you. I'm glad to be here and to try to talk about where I live after 20 years. <laughs> well, we're glad you're here, too. Okay, thank you. Thanks. I'm now speaking with Ms. Gardenia Sifford of Strawn High Rise. Gardenia, welcome to the show. Thank you. Now, are you from Charlotte? Yes, I am. You currently live at Strawn. Uh -huh. But growing up, where did you go to school here? I went to Second Ward and I finished West Charlotte Senior High School. Tell me what you did next. Uh, I was working with the uh, able, I mean the, uh, the, uh, the able up here took classes up here, and uh, I was working with the tender patrol, but I got sick and I had to quit. So how long have you been here at Strawn Apartments? Uh, pretty much a good while now, since I left uh, the... Uh, the Red Carpet Inn? Yeah, Red Carpet Inn, then I moved here. Do you like living here? Yes, I do. I do. How, are, how are the people and staff here? Great. They great, the stuff is great, they wonderful. And you have a relative living in Strong Apartments. Miss Edward Sifford, that's my favorite aunt. <laughs> She's a wonderful woman. Yes, we, she is. We spoke to her earlier. Yes, she is. Now, you have an interesting fact about yourself. Uh, a famous relative? Yes, my favorite uncle, Charlie. And he is a Hall of Fame golfer? Yes, he is. Sounds like you're pretty proud of your uncle. Yes, I am. Proud of your family. <laughs> yes. Tell me one of your proudest achievements, maybe at Strawn, maybe in your life. Uh, well, I did odds and in, and I worked on the tenant patrol, and uh, when I got sick, I had to stop. But working on that tenant patrol was pretty rewarding. Yeah, it is. Helping it's keep great. the building safe. Yes. I, I, I got a lot out of that. If someone came up to you and said, is Strawn a good place to live, what would you say? I'd say, you go for it. Go for it. Go for it. Ms. Sifford, I just want to thank you for so uh -huh. much for coming on the show today. Thank you. And sharing your story with us. Thank you. We thoroughly enjoyed talking to Strawn residents today, but unfortunately, we've run out of time. If you have questions about today's show or suggestions for future shows, please email us at chatoday at cha-nc.org. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.